this morning I am going to look at cars. I fell and tripped up the concrete stairs. My god, they're so cute. I split my pants. I went and swapped my snowboard equipment to ski. Welcome to my new car. like a 15 minute walk to the game with our hot soup just waiting for our final flight which will take us to Kelowna and then we need to get a one hour bus so it's been a really long travel day when we got to Vancouver because we had like quite a bit of a layover for a few hours we went to a cafe to get like, some food and just stepping outside the weather shift is crazy like it's just gotten so cold and I just feel like I'm not warm enough my lips already feel dry so we have like a hour stop over in Kelowna airport before we get a bus to our final destination. It's like night time, it's probably 8 o'clock now, or nearly 8 o'clock. Mm. Oh that's good. I'm digging in. Sure. I wanted to quickly show you but we stopped at a Tim Norton's which is, must be really big here because they're at like every airport um, and we wanted to just like get some food or something. And the guy at the counter was so nice, he ended up just giving us everything left in the cabinet for free because he was just going to throw it out anyways because they're like, must be closing soon. I'm going to show you, but he literally gave us like three muffins, all of their pastries and bread left. <laughs> so nice! And we got nice hot chocolates. So it is like midnight here now and we have finally checked in. We've had our shower and got ready for bed. I've got these cute little pajamas from CSB and my Uggs on. These are like my winter pajamas now. Um, but yeah, before we head to bed and everything, I thought I'd give you a quick little Airbnb tour. So as we walk in the door, doo -doo -doo, this is the kitchen. It's just got all the essentials. We might even cook some nights and go to the little shop and get some things. Coffee machine, which we'll probably get coffee out, or I don't even know if I wanna be having coffee while I'm here. I'm like, maybe I'll just stick to hot chocolates because that hot chocolate I had before was so good. Then we have our little dining area, lounge area, our fireplace. And then out here, I wish I showed you before, but this is our view outside. I'm not gonna go out there because it's so cold now. But it's been like non-stop snowing since we got here. It was so cool. It's not, the snow is just like powder as well. It's so nice. I'll show you guys properly tomorrow, but it's just like so cute. It looks like a little village out there with like the snow on the roofs and the lights. Like I've just like never seen anything like this before and it's so exciting. And then in here we have our bedroom. So this is just our bed. But yeah, we're probably just going to head to bed now. So I'm not really going to vlog much. Tomorrow we have planned. So the next three days we have booked to be on the snow like 
on the mountains so like the next three days we plan to like just snowboard or whatever so i think we're gonna wake up early go get something to eat go get our higher equipment and i may don't know yet but i may do a snowboarding lesson because i've never snowboard before tomorrow we're just gonna be like on the snow all day long so that's kind of all we have planned all right guys i am ready for my snow lesson i'm doing a snowboarding lesson and it goes like two hours so i'm just getting ready to go down i've got my Helly hansen jacket on my snow pants, some gloves. We just went and hired all of our equipment as well for the next three days, so we're good to go. I have the best view, like that's the main area down there, like where every, like I have to meet for my class and then that's where everyone goes at the bottom of the runs. major FOMO of actually being in Canada <laughs> like it just looks so nice and I'm not probably like experienced like a snow trip like that before so like seeing her there I'm like whoa that is like so cool and I really really want to experience that so I'm very jealous I am about to go do a Pilates class and then I'm really like trying to decide if I want to go and start the process of looking at cars I've mentioned it on here and I think on TikTok but I am planning on like looking to get a new car my car has had some issues it's also just very small like I very much and just ready for a bit of a bigger car like a borderline four-wheel drive like SUV like something bigger my car's only four seats so that's how small it is and I've just been putting it off because the thought of like going and looking and like I don't know what I want I'm just really procrastinating from it. But I'm thinking after Pilates, I might drive and go start the process of looking at cars. But the car like dealership that I want to go to is like 40 minutes away. So it is a bit of a drive. But I think I just need to brave it and just do it. I also need to go grab some things from the post office. So I'll um, give you guys a haul of the stuff that I pick up. Also, yesterday I was walking home from going and getting groceries my hands are literally full of our groceries and I fell and tripped up concrete stairs it was honestly if someone saw me <laughs> it was so embarrassing like I can't even describe if someone saw me you know when you like try to catch yourself like falling and like you end up start running that was me I started running <laughs> with these grocery bags in my hand and then just dove straight into the concrete and like landed on our groceries cream exploded all over my groceries because i had like cream for our pasta exploded all in the bag on our groceries because i landed on them and like i grazed my whole knee like i've got a big bed on now but it's so sore i literally couldn't even sleep last night because it's so bruised and like Saw and then even like my fingers I grazed I grazed like this side of my leg It was a full-on like fall like I've tripped and stuff here and there But I've never fallen like that before but it was obviously like also funny like I just laughed at it I just <laughs> I'm lucky I didn't hurt myself more than what I did like I literally dove straight into the cement That was very embarrassing and now I'm gonna go try and attempt to do a Pilates class But I literally can barely move my knee so so yeah, let's go to Pilates and then I'm going to go pick up my post parcels from the post office and then maybe go and start looking at cars. <laughs> at my Pilates class and I don't think I'm going to oh I've got a break out here I just finished at my Pilates class and I don't know if I'm gonna go look at cars today because I really don't want to go on my own I just feel like if I go on my own I don't really know what I'm looking for so I'm gonna see if my dad or mum 
one of my parents want to come with me. When you have car problems, it's such a call dad for help situation. So yeah, I did go to the post office, which I'll show you guys what I got when I get home. But that Pilates class, oh my God, I literally was struggling so much. Like my glute was on fire, but it was so good. Let's see what's in it. We have some shoes from Therapy. Oh my god, they are so cute. Look how cute those are with like socks or like stockings. But those are very in for autumn winter. And then we have some little black ones. I have little black shoes from Therapy that I wore to New in New York. And a lot of people ask me, always ask me where they're from. And then we have like some little flats. Oh my god, so cute. Good evening, guys. Well, today was a pretty big day. I'm not going to lie for our first day. We got up, went and got a coffee. I did a snowboarding lesson at like 10 till 12. And honestly, like I did pretty well in the snowboarding lesson. Like I picked it up pretty easy. But then the second I went on the slopes, oh my god it is so hard like i kept falling over and like i understand what i need to do but it's actually like doing it that is just so hard as a beginner i had, haven't even gone on like the big big mountains like i went down like this little little one and i could barely even go down <laughs> so yeah then i went we went and got some lunch i have been loving the hot chocolates here they're so good i went and swapped my snowboard equipment to skis because like i have skied before um, and I was like, maybe considering we're not here for very long, maybe it's just I do something a bit easier that I can pick up quicker while I'm here so I can try and get as most out of it as I can. So we went and stopped my equipment to ski equipment. And then I went down the same run that I went down with the snowboard. And I'm, honestly, it wasn't even that much easier. Like, I fell over so many times. It was just, I was honestly wrecked by the end of it. I got to the bottom and I was like, no, I'm going. I'm going home. I'm done. And then so we came back up to our room and I ended up falling asleep and just crashing for like a few hours. Hours, which we were just exhausted so it's like 8 39 now and we went out and got some little groceries i think we're just gonna cook some pasta tonight for dinner we're not going out so that's kind of where we're at now i'm just gonna put some water on to boil which i don't know where the pots are for ages i've been saying like i need it i need a new car this morning i am going to look at cars i am so excited not gonna lie i have procrastinated from it but i am going to go and look at cars today and i'm so excited i have been saying for ages i need a new car like the past few months i've had a lot of issues with my car now um i will definitely miss the fact that i can park it in the most tiny little car spots but I do really need a bigger car and also my boyfriend's family are coming over from England soon which is very exciting to visit and we've got like a lot of road trips and kind of like exploring plan to do so what better time than now to go and get a bigger car and finally today's the day we're gonna go look at some I have a couple in mind of what I want to look at but other than that like I really don't know what I want like I just, yeah I have no idea and I also don't know if there's many four-wheel drives or like small SUVs that fit in my price range I also got sent this new trap dry shampoo the other day so I'm gonna give it a go oh that looks so weird oh wait this is so cool I'm guessing I just dabbed that on Oh my god, that's so cool. So yeah, I'm just getting ready now and I'm, I'm, it's like 40 minutes away where I'm gonna go look. I'm dragging my dad along to help me so he's gonna meet me there. Yeah, I don't really know what I'm looking for at all. Good morning. It is snowing right now. Very, very lightly. But it is about 7.30. Be quiet out there. We just got back from getting some breakfast. This morning was kind of like our first morning actually going out and eating breakfast somewhere. So we got up, got ready for that. And I got this cute little outfit on. This jacket is like the best thing I ever bought. Now we're just gonna get ready and 
get dressed for another day out on the slopes. I didn't really vlog too much yesterday because we honestly slept in till like 11 a.m. and then just went straight out onto the slopes and just skied. So it was I couldn't really take my camera because I can't take it on the slopes with me. And that's kind of literally all we did. And then went out and got some pizza for dinner. Since changing the skis, I did so much better yesterday. I did quite a few runs and a couple without stacking or I did a lot better, so. to vlog that much I didn't really get to vlog anything at all to be honest because one going and looking at a car and then talking to a dealership I was like they're probably not gonna take me seriously if I've got like a big camera vlogging the whole time the car that I had my had my eye on I was like I pretty much that's all I want to look at I just want to look at the one I've had my eye on for like a few weeks when I looked at it and I really liked it they didn't have it like in stock ready to go they're like oh it'll take like two to three weeks to come in and then I called another dealership and I was like do you have any demos in because then like you can get a couple thousand off it as well and he was like yep yeah, we have a demo exactly what like it was exactly the same color model and everything that I wanted um so I had to drive so I left my dealership I was at had to drive an hour to the other dealership and they had the exact one that I've been like wanting ready to go like ready to drive away didn't pick it up today because we need to like I need to sort out like finance and stuff but I get to pick it up in a few days and I'm so excited I'm so excited I ended up getting it like cheaper than what the first dealership was gonna do and like yeah it's literally all i need it's all i've been wanting it's perfect and i'm so excited so i get to pick it up in a few days and i will definitely be taking you guys along with me and show you yeah i'm just really excited and like excited to have a new car a new little space little day update i've finished my all of my skiing for the trip i'm all done i've handed in my hire equipment <laughs> And now I think I'm just gonna like have a nice hot shower because I'm so cold. Later tonight we're gonna go to a, it's like a popular pub, like one of the main pubs here. So we haven't been there yet. So I think we're just gonna go there for like dinner and play pool and things like that later tonight. So I think I might just get ready a big jug of water. Also... I don't know if I told you guys, but <laughs> honestly, this is like from the first day, but I split my pants literally right in the crotch. I split my pants. It's like a big hole too. Like it is a big hole. <gasps> oh, it's so bad. I think it's just like a cheap brand to be honest. I got them years ago from like, I don't know, they were on sale and they're just like random snow pants and they're like, I don't think they're like good quality, that kind of stuff, but no one could really say anyways, unless I fell over and like had my legs split apart, but... Good morning, everyone! I started the morning so lovely. Woke up, went for a big walk, went to Pilates. It was just so nice. And then now I'm having a little birthday prep morning because I'm going to go get my birthday nails done. And these have been on since ages, like honestly, probably four weeks now. So they're really like getting to the point where they're like lifting and like getting caught in my hair. And I'm like so excited. I just need them done. So I'm really excited about that. And it is also my birthday coming up. So it's like my birthday nails. Though I don't really know what I want had an idea of what I wanted I really wanted like let me show you guys not that I have anything major planned for my birthday but I really wanted like some sort of like diamantes or something like that like it's subtle but also really cute and I really wanted them but I don't know if my nail artist or my nail lady has diamantes so I also really like these like with the black hearts I think you're doing something like that but with white hearts so yeah I don't really know but I'm gonna get my nails done and then honestly just come home and 
probably just get heaps of work done on the laptop so I really don't have much planned for today. I've sorted out like all of my car stuff this morning so I'm really hoping I get to pick my car up some point this week. Oh yeah I'm also getting a hair wash and blow dry this afternoon with Way. I feel like that's how you pronounce it, Way. I also am in a temporary car at the moment until I pick up my new car so that's why my car looks different than usual but I yeah have a hair appointment with Uwe, you know the hair care brand that I like love. I literally use so much of their stuff. But they've come over to Australia for like a little I don't know if it's like a PR trip or something, and they're doing like one-on-one -on -one hair styling sessions where you can go in and get like your hair washed and try out their new hair gloss treatment, blow dry or something. So I got invited to that and I'm really excited. So I got my nails done. I don't know if you can see them very well, but. I got like some little diamante looking stars, just like some little detailing. I am just getting ready and I thought I would show you a couple of products I'm using while I'm here because I honestly have barely packed like any makeup and I haven't worn any makeup the last. While I'm out like skiing and stuff, I'm not wearing any makeup because you've got all this stuff on your like you've got all this headgear on so it's just like so pointless but last night when we went out for dinner and stuff I've put like a really small small amount like very light makeup on and I'm just kind of really loving the makeup I've been doing while I'm over here because it's just so like light and basic and minimal and it's very good makeup for like this this occasion like snow and really cold because like I do not want to be wearing a full face of makeup while I'm here and I've been layering the moisturizer on my face as well because when I'm out in this like when I'm out in the snow my face just goes so cold and it's windy been using this foundation stick from Ilia which is quite new but I'm actually like obsessed with it for light base like it's very buildable but I just like pat a little bit on with my brush and it just gives like a really nice subtle coverage it doesn't look cakey or full and it's not a thick liquid foundation it's just really nice and I'm loving it over here I just put some on my brush and then pat it into my skin but tomorrow is basically our last full day which is kind of really sad it's gone so fast um so yeah we wrapped up the skis and snowboards today just and then tomorrow we'll probably just chill heaps um this hot tub here which we still haven't used and i really want to use it so maybe do that go get some food somewhere and just make tomorrow a really chill day and like explore the village a little bit more and then we leave the next day around midday so there really isn't that much to do like I'm kind of feel like we've come for a good amount of time like a week was enough for here in particular because there's not really that much more to do other than ski snowboard and go get food somewhere like oh I mean there's like ice skating and you can do like snowmobiles and snow tours and things like that but they're a lot more pricier as well so I've just finished my makeup it's just very minimal just I did quite I did bronze quite a bit just to bronze up my face a little bit because I am looking quite pasty yeah I'm gonna try and do my hair but I have a slight issue I haven't tried my hair straightener yet but my blow dryer isn't working which I knew that that would be the case because of the voltage differences for some reason like they're different to Australia so our hair tool a lot of hair tools just don't work over here and I knew that coming over here I don't know why like I didn't bring anything um like a specific plug or anything like that but I don't know if it's going to affect the hair straightener or not. quickly give you guys an outfit for dinner review okay my outfit i've got this lounge long sleeve this has actually been my holy grail this trip like it is so thick and comfortable i've actually double layered my leggings 
So I've got these lounge leggings underneath, just these brown ones, and then I put these cream ones on over the top. They kind of got little flares, but I did tuck them into my boots. These boots are just the Los Cabos boots that I got. They actually have also been the only things I've been wearing this whole trip. They have been so perfect, like the most perfect shoe for this trip. And then my jacket from Naked Fashion, I think. Don't know how to pronounce it. And then my earmuffs from Pretty Little Thing. We're going to a Mexican place for dinner. And... Senorita. We did do our snowmobile today. It was so fun. Guys, I'm about to go pick up my car. Also, I slept with my hair like freshly washed and um, I think I must have gone to bed with it like slightly wet. <laughs> We are packing up the Airbnb because we need to leave in like an hour. But this is going to be my little airport fit. Just got a oversized jumper, black leggings, my Uggs, and I've got this scarf as well. Keep me warm because it's so cold. It's going so fast. That's the dishwasher in the back making all that noise. The place that we stayed in as well, it's just been so perfect, like most perfect location. Um, and we just found it on Airbnb and it's honestly been like, it's had everything. It's got a hot tub here, it's got a little kitchen, great bathroom, bedroom, lounge room, um, amazing inside heaters. <laughs> and it's so central as well to like the main center. Welcome to my new car. When I went and picked up my car, it was, I was a little all over the place because one, I was just so focused on picking it up and not having a camera in like the guy's face that was giving it to me but yeah picking up I was so excited and then when I had to drive it home I was just like so focused on the car I literally just didn't vlog anything because so I was like well you know when you're like trying to get used to the new surroundings and like what every button means and like that was me but this is my new car it's so cute just turn it on here there's not really any way to put my camera on but the back is really spacious as well which I love like like my previous car was only four seats but yeah and then there's also like we've got some little LED lights that go around the car I don't know if you can like this I don't know if you can um, change the color of that yeah I don't know if you can change the color of the little light detailing but yeah I just love it so much and I really enjoy driving now I really need to like sit down and actually like go through everything. I also want to do like a little stock up of bits and bobs in my car. Moisturizer and stuff like that. Like I see on TikTok sometimes people do like a little stock up of like a little bag, like necessities in their car. But yeah, I love it so much. Mm -hmm. 